Please, will you marry me and make me the happiest man in the world? Um, no, I can't do that. Dan, as much as I love you, I, I just can't do it. But why not? Because I feel you're hiding something from me, Danny. Okay, I'll tell you, but let's sit down. It's going to be a long story. A long time ago, I used to know the one in the only two above. No, tell me more. I have to know everything. All right, well, first thing to start off with is the dude was not always the dude. <gasps> not the dude? Yes, he was once the fat Mick Foley. What? <laughs> Michael Foley? As in Mick Foley? Yeah, but Mick wasn't always that fat. He was just a little bit obese. No, no, no. no. Chubby? Wrong. 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 Chunky. Negative, gang. Plump. Plump, Danny, don't lie to me. I've seen pictures of him. Okay, okay, you're right. He's a fucking fat piece of shit. But, Dan, how in the world did Mick Foley, perhaps the least desirable male of the past quarter century, become dude love? Well, it all The universal heart drop. Well, Felice, it all started back in his freshman year. Mick was really down on himself. He was just an old, just an old freshman, but about 80 pounds heavier. He tried to kill himself, and uh, everybody wanted him to, but he didn't succeed. With the help of all his buddies, Mick, they, they, they told him he had something to live for, even though he didn't. Mick even got up the gall, the tenacity, and the balls to try to ask the most beautiful girl out and to talk for a date, but unfortunately, it didn't plan out like he thought it would. Okay, now look, Amy, I understand you're not much into talking. Neither am I. Because I know you dig me, and I kind of dig you myself. Talking really isn't my game either, because what I like is physical action. <laughs> Think maybe me and you, you and I should get down to, you know, to do have some respect for you. I'm going to put this, you know, as adults as I can. I think we should maybe uh, consummate now. Fornicate? Copulate? I think uh, maybe, just maybe you and I should do a little bit of this. You know what I mean? A little blow drill. Wait a second. Say that again? How about a blow drill? You, wait. That's, that's razor stubble. You're, you're not even a girl. I, yeah. Look at this. No. Stop. As you can see, Felice, Mick Foley wasn't always stable. But when did he become dude love? When did he attain such such levels of greatness? All right, looks like I want to explain something to you that very few people in the world know today. So, Mick, how are you feeling? Is your head still hurting at all? No, I really, no, not at all. I just... You know, want something to eat. Want a cooking patty? Doc said you'll probably be feeling uh, better in a month or two. No, man, I'm telling you, it doesn't hurt at all. Just, I get all the uh, extreme hunger. You know what I mean? Look, Mitch, Rich, Frank, the bullet's still in your head, and all you have to do is think about eating. <laughs> think about you're a fat slab. What do you want me to do, man? It doesn't hurt. I just, I'm always hungry. Nothing's changed. You're a fat slob. He's throwing your life away. Well, what do you want me to do? Why don't you guys put rod in me? Huh? Look, Mick, this is ridiculous. You have no pur purpose in life. All you want to do is eat. I don't blame you for trying to kill yourself. <laughs> so you think... Hey, look. You th flattery's not going to work with me, John. I just don't even try it. I think I'm throwing my life away. Maybe you're right. What do you want me to do? I don't know. Why don't you try get to get back into wrestling, Mitch? Screw that. They're going to be laughing at me. You know, everyone knows I tried to kill myself. Besides, I sucked. Yeah, you're not that bad. I show my face, people are going to laugh at me right off the freaking thing. I don't belong in this weird circle. I want you to get it. This guy or something. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. But what, what kind of mask? What would it look like? I don't know. Well, I just happened to have one right here, man. Holy. See, man. That's great. I can get into it, but... 
But what would I call myself? I mean, I, I need a good Mr. name. Mr. X? Name sucks. Hey, so why don't you stop arguing? All you ever do is debate. Mr. Debate. That's it. That's it. I'll call myself the masked debater. I'll do it. I'll do it. Yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll tell you guys, I feel great. I mean, I'm in prime physical and mental condition. I've got a good outlook on life. I've got a purpose. And I'll tell you, I don't even give off an unpleasant aroma anymore. Not only that, but you've also showed the crowd you could wrestle, man. You've won almost 50% of your matches, and the crowd really likes your clean-cut sportsmanship attitude. Yeah, but do you really give the top and turn as a run for that money? It won't be long before you start beating some of them. You really think so? Yeah, we're sure of it. You already beaten Bill Berger, Frankie Williams, yeah. and you would have been beat, and you beat, you would have beaten Chief J. Strongwell if the poor guy didn't have a heart attack in the middle of the match. Damn, he was only 65, so. And remember, you did beat Mr. Fuji, even if it was by disqualification. I didn't really think you would have beat him, too, if Captain the little battle didn't go in the ring and pull out your pubic hair with tweezers. <laughs> yeah, man, but, I mean, but where do I go from here? You might think I'm kidding, but I really think you can get a, a title match within the next year. A title shot within one year? You really think so? The way you've been improving, I'm sure of it. <laughs> The mass debater against Ishmala? The Puerto Rican giant? But uh, Ishmala is so big and so strong. You really think I'd stand a chance? <laughs> well, I'll tell you, that would be just an honor. Just to get in the ring with the champion. You know what, guys? It's all you're doing, too. Before this, I was a wreck. You know what? You gave me honor. You gave me purpose. You gave me this new wardrobe. You gave me a blowjob. You did it all. <laughs> and you had nothing in return. And, I mean, I really do owe you my life. Sure, Thanks, guys. Uh, you know, Mike, I'll stay behind because I want to ask you a favor. Sure, Scott, shoot. I'll tell you. You know, my two nieces, you know, they're real wrestling fans and stuff, you know, they look up to you and stuff. They're getting into a big problem with drugs and stuff. Drugs. I'll tell you, you know, you can give a little sure, shout-out. Yeah, okay, just let me have a go at them. I think I can do it. All right. Here they are right now. Uh, come on over here, girls. You know what I think? Look, Scott's a very good friend of mine, very good personal, close friend of mine. He tells me you're wrestling fans. Life's happened to be a mess debate, I'm sure you know that. And look, I'm telling you from experience, I've been there on the streets, but in the worst arenas in the country. And I've seen what drugs can do to people. They can kill. They can kill and they have killed. Okay? I don't want you on the streets hanging out. Get a bad reputation, and your self is finished. I'm sure you're nice girls. All you are is a little bit misdirected, and an off, I mean, with a little bit of direction, you'll be okay. I think we've learned a little something here, haven't we? <laughs> Calm down, man. Calm down. Damn it. Nothing's changed. Calm I still don't get any respect. I'll tell you something, Scott. I'm sick and tired of being treated like a dog, and it won't happen again. Get me something to eat. I'm sick and tired of being treated like a dog. How about a milk bone, Nick? Thanks, damn it. Hey, hey. Roll over. Roll over. God. Nick. Hey. Oh, crazy. I don't know what I can do here. Alright? We both know there's only one person in the world that can help me. I'm gonna go look for that help. Who is it that summons the Grand Lizard of Wrestling? only I, Mr. Lizard. And who are you? Well, let me explain myself just a little bit. Uh, my name is the Masked Debater. The Masked Debater? That fat, gross, overweight, endomorph, dandruff-haired, ugly piece of trash? Wait a second, Mr. Lizard. I think you're being unjustly unfair, because uh, I don't have dandruff. Okay. Well, then you're a fat, gross, overweight, endomorph, Ugly, fat piece of trash. I can go with that, but uh, sir, I'm the masturbator of wrestling. And I am the Grand Lizard of wrestling. You're the... 
Don't ever touch the Grand Lizard of Wrestling. Lesson number one. Well, sir, you know, I came to you in hopes that perhaps you could, uh, as I might say, I've been having just a little bit of difficulty in my career. With your reputation, your guidance, I was hoping that you could take me all the way to the top, past the preliminaries, to the superstar. You? I wouldn't let you wipe my asshole. Asshole? Well, sir, I think you should readjust your thinking because uh, if you check the records, which I'm sure you have, you'll see that I do own a victory over Mr. Fuji. And Fuji, however, however old he may be, is a former tag team champion. Fuji? He's terrible. He's a bald neck. Well, sir, uh, do you see anything in me? That... You're fat. You're gross. You're disgusting. Look at yourself. But I do see something in you. I see that bad breath. Besides that... I see that eye. That eye of the tiger. You do have that. Does, does that mean that you'll take me under your wing and lead me towards wrestling greatness? <laughs> you? I wouldn't let you shake the excess urine off the tip of my penis. That's so. But I'll take you under my wing. But if I do, there's going to be some changes going on. You wear what the lizard wants you to wear. You eat what the lizard wants you to eat. You shit when the lizard says the shit. You walk when the lizard says the shit. Okay, you got it? There's going to be big, some, some big changes going on. And I want to make it right now. Oh, uh, sir. Oh. I, I think, I really do think that I'm beginning to see the light at the end of the tunnel. But there's uh, one more thing. You must wear what the lizard says to wear. You come with a joke, that crappy piss rag like that, I'll chop your balls off, put them on a Ritz cracker, and then eat them, sue the company for false advertising. What? You don't like this shirt? This shirt is disgusting. From now on... Here, I want you to have this. Your first pajama top. Put this on. Let's go. We have a lot of work to do.